I'm Kelly Friend, and I'm the director of the Division of Agricultural Environmental Services. And my division has several responsibilities, from mosquito control to pest control, so your, your structural pest control companies, folks who do pest control on lawns, um, to agricultural pesticides, that's under Chapter 487, which includes the registration of pesticides, but also uh, use of pesticides on, on agricultural properties and restricted use pesticides. We also oversee fertilizer and seed and feed. So what I'm gonna start with is the feed program, which is under Chapter 580, which is directly related to hemp. So the new hemp program, which was established by Senate Bill 1020 and also is now Chapter 581, there's some language in there that directly relates to animal feed. So that last piece that defines hemp extract to mean a substance or compound intended for ingestion that is derived from or contains hemp and that does not contain other controlled substances. So items for ingestion also includes animals. So that's how our division is involved. Um, again, a little bit more information from 581. What I really want to get into is what the commercial feed program does in Florida and what's required. So our authority is under Chapter 580, uh, Florida Statutes, and 5E3, Florida Administrative Code. And really the purpose is to ensure animal feed products meet quality standards, are truthfully labeled, free from physical, chemical, and biological contaminants. So that's the overarching goal of our program. All right, so there's several key components that we enforce, one being the registration of folks who manufacture and distribute feed. Um, we track the types and quantities of feeds distributed in the state. <coughs> we monitor registrant compliance. So there's certain requirements for feed companies, which include registration, there's reporting requirements, labeling requirements, and sampling and analysis requirements. Um, we also ensure that animal feed is safe through use of certified laboratories, and we also do some focus inspections ourselves and respond to complaints. So as far as registration for feed companies, um, for those who are creating feed products that have hemp extract, they're basically gonna have the same requirements as any feed company in our state. We have a master feed registration, which is an annual permit that's issued by the department to distribute feed. Um, there's no individual product registration, so we don't register each type of feed that's out there, we register the companies. And the registration fees are dependent upon the tonnage that's distributed in the state, so it could be anywhere from a small amount of tonnage and a $40 registration fee up to companies who distribute over 5,000 tons and they have a, a $3,500 registration fee. So it's on a, a whole sliding scale. Some of the requirements for feed registrants are that they do sampling and analysis, they have to report tonnage quarterly, um, they have to comply with our labeling requirements, and they have to submit samples annually to a certified laboratory. So all of these requirements are defined in Chapter 580 and 583. So I just wanted to run through that really quickly. The bottom line here is for hemp extract or feed products that contain hemp extract, they're gonna fall under the same requirements as any feed company. And this is the good place to get more information about feed. And um, there's a direct line to our feed section. And a lot of our questions come through. If you, if you don't write anything else down that, AES cares at fdax.gov. That's where we get a lot of questions and try to get as quickly a uh, turnaround and feedback as possible. So beyond feed, the Division of Agricultural Environmental Services also is responsible for seed, which is chapter 578. Um, again, chapter 581 has given us the authority to regulate seed for hemp. Um, there's a couple definitions, one certifying agency which references Chapter 578, which is our seed statute, and then of course some definitions. And it defines hemp seed as a licensee 
or as licensees may only use hemp seeds and cultivars that are certified by a certifying agency or a university conducting an industrial hemp pilot project. And so that's part of the rules that we're working on is what does that mean? But as far as the Florida seed program goes, um, the purpose of the program is to ensure that seeds purchased by consumers meet the standards for purity, germination, they're truthfully labeled, and they're not contaminated with noxious weeds. So again, we enforce Chapter 578 and 5E4, where we license seed processors, distributors, and retailers, a little bit different from animal feed because we're actually licensing each location that sells seed or distributes seed. We inspect and analyze seed to evaluate the product conformity with the labeling guarantees. Basically, what's on the tag should be in the bag. And um, we make sure they're in compliance with state and federal seed regulations. And we also investigate complaints against faulty uh, seed. So basically, the licensing for, for people who distribute hemp seed will be exactly the same as for um, other seed distributors in the state. So each person before selling seed must get a seed dealer license. Very similar to animal feed, the seed licensing fee is based on, um, on sales rather than tonnage. It's based on sales. So if you're distributing less than $500 uh, worth of seed every year, your license fee is $10 and it's on a sliding scale. If you're distributing over $400,000 worth of seed a year, then your license fee is $4,600. And hemp seed is going to be like any other seed in Florida. It's going to be subject to sampling, inspection, and examination. Licensees' products have to comply with seed labeling requirements and any additional requirements that are going to be adopted by rule. So a lot is still contingent on our final rulemaking. And again, for information about seed, we have a different number, well I guess it's the same number for our seed section, but again, most importantly, the email address um, for, for a very quick response, that's a good place to go.